So what we have now is some actual product running an iRobot creates. Typically the iRobot creates have a little 8-bit micro on there, so it's very difficult to get them to do anything. So we have our flex stack kind of appended on upon it, and we can control it using LabVIEW. We actually have an RFID reader attached to it, and uh, we can throw down a bunch of I R RFID tags that'll make it do various different kinds of operations, a square dance, nice circle dance, sing a song, or do the squiggle dance. Good, good that you brought that. Okay. As you pick it up, take it apart. So I read the tag and now it's spin, spin, spinning. Well, it's actually in there. I mean, I could have just pointed from the outside, but this gives me the idea. Let's see, let's see if we can do the squiggle dance. It's doing the shimmy shake. And so all this is programmed, of course, using LabVIEW. It took us longer to uh, generate the uh, plastic housing for the flex stack than it did to program the robot. It took us about a day. So, so what we're using is LabVIEW 8.5, uh, LabVIEW embedded for the Blackfin controller specifically. Uh, LabVIEW embedded is actually a nice C code generator that we use that C code to push through the compiler associated with the Blackfin, generate uh, the executable and embed down on the chip. What you're looking at right now is the RFID antenna. Okay. And if you scroll up a little bit, inside of here is our flex stack. What we have is a processor board and a power board because we are running off of battery power inside of there. Okay, so the LCD is? The LCD is running off an I2C connection. Okay. So the iRobot Create, um, I guess for those that are not familiar, is that like a developer's kit or something? Yes, this is a developer's kit platform. Uh, at Boston Engineering, we don't have tons of time to generate nice little uh, demos for trade shows, so we try and use off-the-shelf, uh, a nice off-the-shelf inf infrastructure that we can retro for our, for our needs. The FlexSec currently is being used in three different medical device prototypes. That should be going to market within a year. Uh, it's being used on two Homeland Security based uh, handheld detectors, so to speak. And uh, we are working on a robotics application. We'll see if FlexStack's going to be put in that or not. Hopefully so. That would be cool. Yes, it would be.